Hey everyone, this is Corbu. So I'm going to show you a how to make a hidden staircase today. Um, so right now we're in my desert biome, and I haven't really built much yet here besides a hidden stairway and a mine. Um, so I'll show you the hidden stairway. So I put a little notch in the sand here, and I'm going to count in three blocks. So here is my oh shit, here's my little hidden lever. Um, so this will reveal a hidden staircase, so watch right here. Maybe that chicken will come sit on it while we open it. So I flip the switch. There it is. Ah, that's so cool. I love that. So now I've got a cool little hidden entrance down to what will be something. I don't know what this will be. So far, it's just just an entrance. Um, that's about it. So how did I do this? It's not too complicated. Um, took a little figuring out, but um, basically it started. I, I heard about um, how you can use water, uh, a current, to change the direction of water. And uh, from there, I you know, thought what I could do with that was use the water to destroy some torches and the torches could move some sand and so forth. Um, so here's here's what really really does it right here. Um, so the the lever charge comes through, and this is a block of water that I dropped right here. So there's this weird behavior with water where um, it flows to the lowest point. Um, so you can see that there's a, a hole here, so it's flowing in that direction. Um, and it will check to see if there's another low point whenever something around it changes um, immediately adjacent to it. So, um, so basically what's, what's going on right now, it's not flowing to the left because I've blocked the lower area with this block right here. Um, so I can remove that and it'll, it'll stay the way it is unless you uh, build something next to it. So there, I, I changed the block that was there and then it recalibrated and found this lower space. Um, so basically what we're going to do is uh, restore that. Um, first we stop it from flowing in the direction we want to um, open the, the stairwell. So I'll, I'll show you how that works a little bit more in a second. but. So first we block it, um, then we um, block it again, because if we just block it once, when we take away this first block, it'll recalibrate. So if, if that hole is still there, then it'll just flow in that direction. So now we can take away the block immediately adjacent to it, and it still won't flow. And So now we can release that second one. So we've got that all queued up. Um, I'll just show you this real quick, too. Um, so there you can see the, the block of water right above the torch and the little redstone charge. So when I flip the switch, it'll change the state of the redstone, which will cause the block to recalibrate, and then it'll find that lower portion off to the left. So I'll flip the switch, and it recalibrates. So that, that's how that works. Pretty simple. Um, all right, let me rebuild this quick before the monsters get me. So I, I'm just using redstone torches to help hold up the um, hold up the sand here. Um, the redstone torches have less smoke than regular torches. So if, if you have a regular torch hold up one block, you'll see smoke come out the other side, which I don't want. Okay, so this is all set. Um, so when I swip, flip the switch again, it'll pour off to the left. Um, and you may have noticed that I have off to the left here is just a straight little drop down um, and we'll see where that goes in a second. Alright, it's dangerous out. Okay, so I'm going to close that back up, get back in the stairwell, and show you what to do here. Um, so the, the bummer about this setup is you have to reset it manually every time. It's not repeatable. 
Uh, I would love for some more mechanisms to be put in the game so you can have repeating stuff like this, but uh, Notch hasn't added it yet. Um, I'm going to put a torch up just for a little light. So, ooh, <laughs> you keep jumping in blocks, which is bad for your health. So first I'm just clearing out of the blocks um, and chickens. And it's pretty quick to rebuild this thing. Um, I think I can do it in about four minutes. I'll go a little slower than I would normally just so I can explain what I'm doing so people understand what's going on. Alright, so I've got all my blocks. Um, in case you're wondering what this is, uh, it's, it's not really important, but I just like to have a way to get down here real quick if my stair isn't here. Um, and ladders will catch you as long as you don't land directly on top of them. So basically if I fall anywhere within this area, a ladder will catch me. So it's, it's kind of a nice way you can free fall and, and still, still be okay. Um, you just have to be careful if you fall directly between them you will not get caught, but it's it's pretty hard to do, so. Um, anyway. So here's, here's where the water comes out. So you remember, we flip the switch, it changes the state of the redstone, which causes the water to recalibrate. It then looks for low ground, and now there is low ground. So there's a shaft that's running. So it'll pour right down here. So it's going to pour, fill the floor, and when it fills the floor, that's when it can start knocking torches. Um, so I'll get rid of these just for illumination. So now I'm going to start building the stairs. So this is the first torch. Um, now the trick to have the, the stair fall in a cool, you know, aesthetically pleasing way is to basically have a chain reaction that's you know, very linear. Um, so each block falls at a time in a series as it as it wraps around. So that's all happening because the water is only going to hit one torch, and that torch will in turn knock another torch, which will in turn knock another torch. So basically we're creating a chain reaction. When this falls, that falls, which causes that to fall, which causes that to fall, and so on. Um, we might get a spider down here. I think I just heard one. So, building the stair. Um, I'll get rid of that. Ooh. Shoot. Uh, I don't have a sword handy. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to get rid of this block. That was just to help me get up here. Um, so the way you build will depend on how you want it to, to shape as it falls. Um, mine is just kind of a simple spiral staircase shape, uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, I, I kind of like the cleanliness of it. It's just a 4x4 four four, um, shaft. Uh, I'm of course holding down the shift key, which prevents me from falling, so I can kind of get around and see the edges. Um, so here we are, we're about done. Um, this is the, the last step at the bottom once it falls. Um, so in the middle of the stair you can see there's this kind of middle space. So I've, I've got a two block depth that I'm, I'm just filling in with that. So this, this will not be part of the stair when it falls, that will be part of the ground. Um, so at this point, now we just fill in the rest. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That sucks. I'll pause it and get back real quick. All right. Where were we? Okay. So filling up the stair. Um, so this is just, you know, stacking, stacking up sand. And I am still putting the uh, the two blocks 
that'll become the middle of the floor when they fall. Okay, I do need more sand. The creeper destroyed too much. Sorry, I had another quick detour. I've got a lot of uh, gunpowder you may have seen. I've got a, a great mob grinder. Um, I think it's a little more efficient than the ones I've seen. Maybe I'll do a video for that if, if it would help anyone. Okay, that stair is full. Two for the middle. Another two for the middle. So I'm almost done. When I am done, I'll go show it from underneath so you can get a sense for it from, from that perspective, too. It makes a little more sense when you see it from underneath, actually. All right. There we are. So that's all hidden and ready to go. I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. Then we'll launch it one more time. It's just a little utility corridor. There's nothing special about it. Some, something will be built off of here, hopefully. All right, so here we are underneath. So you'll notice that it's basically the inverse of the stair. So this whole column will just fall one block. That'll be the first stair. This whole column will fall two blocks. That'll be the second stair, and so on and so forth up to the last block right here, which will be the, the final stair right there. And then I've got two deep, um, a two by six that will become the floor. So you'll be at the, the level of this top bit right here. So yeah, let's, let's go, go flip that switch. I, uh, I apologize for leaving some of the futzy stuff in. Um, feeling a little too lazy to do a lot of editing on this, so I'll probably just put it all online. Okay, so here we are. So the secret lever is three blocks in from that notch. There it is. And uh, let's flip it and watch the stair fall. Awesome. Perfect. So that's how you do that. Um, go crazy, have fun, build cool things, and uh, I'll see ya.